Living in the South, most of us are all familiar with these temperatures, but that does not make it any less dangerous. As Bill said, heat indices reached the triple digits tonight, and there isn't much relief in sight tomorrow. CBS North Carolina Steve Sprazier joins us in Wake County, where the shelter has the white flag up. And Steve, how hot is it where you are? Take a look right here. This little guy will tell you with all that oppressive humidity and heat out there, you really don't need a thermometer to tell you just how hot it is out there. But as you indicated, the shelter here in Wilmington Street, as well as others, have put out the white flag. It's put out in the cases of extreme cold or extreme heat to warn the homeless about the situation. But even though the temperatures are dangerously hot, there are still folks out there who are working and working very hard. The temps in the sun topping 100 degrees, this crew was dealing with asphalt that was three times hotter than the air. It's between 300 plus or minus 15 degrees. Keeping the crews hydrated is a priority. Guys were grabbing these sports drinks like liquid gold. You just got to pay attention to the signals your body's sending you and how, you know, how the heat is actually affecting you. Take those cues and act accordingly. While these guys were laying asphalt, this Wake Forest man was pounding the asphalt at midday. Why come out in heat like this? You know, I'm used to it. Uh, I'm a Yankee. Uh, I always say I just put another golf shirt on when it gets hot, that's all. How many does you go through today? By about eight and nine. And that's how the crew of Bastillo's landscaping keeps going. But they also keep an eye on what their bodies are saying in this heat. How's your body let you know that, uh-oh, I'm in trouble? Yeah, uh, you, you'll feel, you, you could tell, because uh, if you start getting cold chills, and I mean, you know, stop sweating or anything like that, you, then you know you need to then sit down and take a break. And Bill says there's going to be more of the same tomorrow, so this is our advice. Got to sneak in a little hydration while I'm working. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprayson, CBS.